An adherent nerve root, or ANR, is a specific form of dysfunction that sometimes occurs following resolution of derangement with sciatica or after surgery. It's the only time in a dysfunction where distal pain is experienced. It is also the only time when distal symptoms are repeatedly produced as part of the management or treatment. The symptoms that you'll commonly see, for example in the lumbar spine, will shoot from the lumbar spine all the way down the leg, usually with forward flexion with the knee extended and standing. Here we've created an example of what internally an adherent nerve root or ANR would look like. You have tissue that actually surrounds or tapes down the nerve itself to the disc or the spine and limits its ability to slide and glide. So if the patient actually bends forward all the way towards their toes, go ahead and bend forward, what you'll have is tension through the nerve and it will create symptoms all the way down to the foot. When they come back up, tension is relieved and no more symptoms are present. So this will actually be your part of the treatment is to produce the symptoms all the way down to the foot so you can start differently with angles of forward flexion. One way that you can differentiate an adherent nerve root versus a derangement is you can try flexion and lying, which should not produce symptoms in an adherent nerve root, but may and quite possibly will produce symptoms with a posterior derangement or a lateral derangement. So simply have the patient bring their knees to the chest and right back down. And doing that repeatedly, you can see by the pink tape that actually has an adherent nerve root on slack. So it should not produce any symptoms. Or if any are produced at all, it might just be locally in the back and possibly a little bit in the top of the hip or the buttock, but it should not shoot all the way down to the foot. A derangement, on the other hand, will actually create more and more pain the more you do this, and it should also create an obstruction. That's a good way to differentially diagnose the difference between a derangement and an adherent nerve root. So when treating an adherent nerve root, I will usually start with the patient seated, and I'll have them scoot to the edge of the chair and place their affected leg out into extension possibly full extension depending on how their range of motion is and also I'll play with the dorsiflexion and plantar flexion of the affected foot as well. What you can have them do is to place their leg into the extended position and then you want them to go forward and flex towards the foot and then go right back. So they should actually feel the pain produced when they lean forward and when they come back the pain should go off. Pain on pain off. And as that tissue warms up and as that adherent nerve root has more and more slack with the exercise and with the movement, you can play around with the amount of dorsiflexion that they actually utilize during the movement. The more dorsiflexion, the more it's going to actually pull on the adherent nerve root. You can also play around with the knee angle, the, the amount of flexion that they actually have. If they're able to fully straighten their leg, you're going to get more of a pull and it's going to help with the slide and glide of that tissue. So another series of exercises that you can utilize for treating an adherent nerve root is forward flexion and step standing and you can do it with different levels of the step that you'll utilize. What you'll do is you'll have the patient place their affected leg on a chair that can be the first level. It's actually less of a stretch on the adherent nerve root then on a step and then even a lower step which we'll progress through in a second. So now we'll perform a few repetitions of the forward flexion and step standing. Go down toward the leg and back up. Just in a pressure on, pressure off type of fashion. You don't want to sustain or hold this. And then what you'll do after you do let's say a couple of visits and it doesn't produce any symptoms is you can actually progress to the next level which is a step. 
what you'll see is that the leg is straighter. So it's going to place more tension through the nerve itself and further remodel that dysfunctional tissue. And then after that you can do an even lower step, which again the leg is even straighter and so it's placing more tension through the adherent nerve root, which should give it more slack and remodel that tissue faster. And then what you can do is you want to do this with no chair or step, just forward. As you can see, it's actually putting a significant amount of tension through the adherent nerve root. And that is close to one of the final progressions that you would want to utilize. The thing you want to watch out for is anything that lingers. You want to just have a pain on, pain off type of symptom response while you're doing any of these exercises to remodel an adherent nerve root.